Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Red, White, and Ruthless on the Nickel City Mafia channel, where our family business is football. Again, Brett is still resting, recovering, so it'll be a couple more weeks. So I got something fun planned for you. I got some of my, I call them frenemies, because they're good friends of mine, but they're uh, Dolphin fans, Dolphin creators. We're going to do a little uh, four or five round mock draft, depending on what they want to do. And then we're going to talk about positions of need that they think they should get. We're going to talk about, I mean, you, you guys have already heard mine, but we'll go over that again. And I'll ask each of the guys how they feel about what positions they'd rather pick in the first couple rounds, where they think they're needed most in the draft. And then uh, it'll be a pretty fun show. But uh, we got one of them in the back already. Some of you may know he's been here before. Mr. Shake Money from the Fifth. What's going on, man? Thanks for coming, brother. How you doing? Oh, nothing. You know, living me another beautiful day in Zamunda, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, he, he, did, he did a great show over about the WrestleMania, the, a W Energy drink WrestleMania preview today. By the way, real quick, that 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 the guy for time for UFL football is that is that Battlehawk fan? Yeah, yeah. That's Battlehawk, okay. Yeah, so it'll be uh I think that starts tomorrow. UFL, so that'll be fun. Is, oh, yeah. A couple other people coming in too, Battlehawk. Should you know at the max five, but probably at least a couple. They got the link, but uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna be chopping it up about some bills and dolphins. But since uh, since you guys these guys heard what I what I wanted in the draft uh, in the first couple rounds last week, since you're the one here first, shake I'm gonna throw. It, we'll keep it to the first. Your, your top three, your top three positions that you would prefer you guys focus on in the draft. So give me one of them right off the bat. Uh, actually, before we go, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna give you that that, but. Before we go, can you put me on solo screen real quick? Yeah, yeah. I mean, Appreciate hold it. on. Appreciate it. Oh, did that wrong. Hold on. Oh, I'm get there. Hold on. Right. <laughs> it should be on the corner of the of the of of my uh, of my picture. It says. Oh, is solo it? Screen. Okay. Hold on. Solo. Okay. There hey, we go. Hey. Hey, Battlehawk, real quick. Here. Brian, here you go. This is just for you, bro. He brought it. Brian Cox. <laughs> All right. I, I know you wanted to see this, so here you go, man. Just for you, bro. Love it. All right. Thank you. You can take me off now. <laughs> well, thanks for teaching me that, too, because I, I didn't even know that was a feature there. But oh, yeah. Love the Brian Cox card, even though he was uh, – <laughs> I, I wasn't alive for that, but, you know, I heard it, heard the story, so – Definitely, definitely love that. But yeah, so give me your first position right off the bat. We'll talk top three, but give me your number one. Uh, I would like a, a center, a center or a offensive tackle. Absolutely, and you know I, I'm I'm center's one of mine as well. But uh, I mean, you guys signed Aaron Brewer. You know, some some of you guys liked that, some of you didn't. But if I was you guys, still I'm with you on that sentiment. I would still prefer to pick up a center there's a couple good ones in the draft we talked about center on uh on the channels last a uh, couple days ago you know we, we do a position every show you know you know uh, sunday or wednesday you know talking about the draft and uh we highlighted center last week and there's a couple centers that you can get in the first round the second round the third round the fourth round all the way to the seventh round there's pretty decent centers so you know if the dolphins and the bills don't at least get one center each uh somebody didn't do something right so um is there anyone specifically that you that if you got into research yet uh, that you prefer out of center? A uh, center, uh, yeah, Power Johnson would be one. Yeah, you, and you guys could He'll definitely get him too. <laughs> be a team one one. Real quick, Battlehawk. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you don't you don't want me to do this again? Is that was that what you're saying? This is what you don't want me to do? Just to okay. get that out of my face. <laughs> but no, um, no. Look, the reason I want a center is because. You know, um, he's for the future, and mm -hmm. he could he could learn he could play behind the center we have because he's he's gonna be like he's gonna be for like one year maybe. Mm -hmm. So he's like a future pick. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, you know, and he he's you know J Jackson Powers Johnson. He's a guy I would love to get, but you know, 
I think you guys could get him, and Dal- Dallas doesn't have a center anymore either. You guys both pick above us, and Dallas yeah. doesn't. Dallas isn't going to trade back with us. So, unless for some reason you guys both pass on them, there's no chance that we're going to get them unless we trade yeah. up a significant amount of, of dra- draft picks, which I don't think we'll do. But uh, I think that'd be great for you guys. You know, especially <laughs> center is such an important position on the line. Yeah, and center, you, yeah, it is. And if you lock that position up, you know, you guys are going to get probably another tackle because, you know, Armstead, mm-hmm. even though he extended, he's probably not going to play much longer. So, you know. Can't go wrong with either of those positions uh, for you guys, but how about for your number your number two option? And real quick, one thing people don't realize: p- p- the the center is the uh, the guy who lines up the troops. You know, he's mm. kind of like the the leader of the of the offensive line, and you need somebody with not only strength but you know a high IQ to help uh, to uh, help him with his protections. And it's something that that may, look if you look at. Uh, you aren't alive, but you know Dwight Stevenson and Dem mm-hmm. Reno. Uh, yep. His name's escaped me, but um, um, Peyton Manning had his center. You know, so the center quarterback relationship is very important. Absolutely, yeah. that's where, like you said, he's like the general of the of the line, mm-hmm. and uh, you know that's one of the most important positions to have. Yeah. We got another one in the building, my friend Crypto. What's going on, Crypto? In. What's up, Crypto? Thanks for coming in. It's good. No problem, man. Good to be on. Thanks for having me on. Anytime. You guys never even have to yeah. ask. Yeah, but, Jeff, um, uh, the Back It Up pack, uh, podcast. Yeah, Jeff Saturday. There you go. Oh, right yeah. there. I was there. Good to have you here. Trevor Saturday. Hey. Saturday. <laughs> D-tackle, wide receiver, power running back, mm. center linebacker. Yep, those are all great needs. So, Crypto, I asked Shake already. We're going to do your top three – you know just what crypto wants not what the dolphins want not what the dolphins should do not what shake mm-hmm. wants I'm, I'm asking each of you your top three draft needs or uh, your preferred draft picks and uh, okay. position wise so what's your number one position that you you think the dolphins should focus on in the draft crypto why? wants dvp back <laughs> <laughs> which means the opposite but i'll go <laughs> i'll go with um because you know, I, I'll quickly move off guys as as everybody know. I when I start pounding the table to get off a guy, I get off him fast and furious and, and quick. I don't waste no time. Mentioned right. uh, Shake mentioned one of them. I was off him four years ago or five years ago now. <laughs> I was telling everybody we need to move off the guy so we can get uh you know, we missed out on the guy, my boy Justin Jefferson, because we held on mm. too long. But That's um right. So I was like, uh, let's get rid of them. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do the same thing. This is what pretty much I want. I'm I'm that way with Terry Armstead now. I was like that way with X last year, right? Since we got right. Cam Smith, so I'm not gonna pound the table for a cornerback. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give him his shot. I re- I do want him to start though. That I will <laughs> go uh I'll get out yeah. ahead of. I want him to actually start day one. I want him to be the day one starter. So Me I'm not going I'm I don't wish for a cornerback. I wish for a guard and a tackle for the 30th pick, 30 in the 30s cuz I don't want to I don't want to keep the 21st pick. So mm-hmm. I want to trade back. I want to do like a Detroit Lions style trade back. Mm-hmm. Accumulate a couple of third round picks to move back 19 to 20 positions and get that sweet spot because we picked Robert Hunt at 42 and he turned out to be pretty good for us. Look at him. He just got the bag with Carolina. Yeah, so, that was wild. <laughs> they, 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 they think highly of him, obviously. Right. And he was the 42nd pick. I think we could strike gold again somewhere in that area and pick up an extra pick. And uh, I'll pick a tackle and a guard with those first two picks. Yeah, that's I, a great I, like option. a combo guard, like a combo guard in the center. Right, and, and then that that other pick will be a D tackle. Whether hmm. if you're talking about the first three picks, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in the trenches for the defensive tackle. Love that, and it's funny because I I feel the same, basically the same way about my team. And uh, Shake mentioned center for his first guy as well, and I think that's a good trading back for you guys. I think you guys got what five draft picks without. Any yeah, we so we far? real thin. We real thin. Yeah. That's why I'm kind of not like favoring right. that twenty first pick right away. You know. Yeah, and when you think about it, picks. like. Going from twenty one to like thirty something, thirty two, thirty three, whatever. That's yeah. And, and you, you, you can garner a lot of picks. Exactly, you can garner yeah, some extra picks out of it. It's worth it at that point for you guys, I think. But uh, time for UFO football wants me to ask you guys. 
If you think James is good enough to be the running back <laughs> one, or do we need a, a nice compliment power back? We do have Ty Johnson. He's okay. he's pretty decent, but um, you know we don't have like a Moster and an A Chan uh, tandem. So, what are your thoughts mm-hmm. on his comment? Well, um, that yeah, wouldn't yeah, be bad. I, I think I uh, number I two. I, I think number two will be good because I tell you what, James Cook is is definitely a number one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. That wouldn't be a bad option for you guys to have like a one-two combination. Uh, that way he can take a breather. He won't have that much of a workload. You know, he's been real good, especially on the back half of the season for y'all. He's been pretty, you know, he was key in that run that y'all made for the division. Yeah, so definitely. He was, was real key. So he can get some breathers, you know, midway through the season with the, with the, with a one-two punch type back like we had with A-Chain and Mostert. <clears throat> change your pace guy that wouldn't be a bad pickup for you guys i agree and um one thing about james cook too is <clears throat> he's, still, he's still kind of growing because in college he didn't get much uh many, many touches and then his first year kind of you know dabbled his feet in there a little bit and then last year he really picked up production <clears throat> so maybe next year right. he'll, he'll, you know he'll get even because you know you saw a lack of concentration sometimes you guys know dropping the ball in the end zone wide open for a couple of touchdowns this year. Like that's, right. that's all stuff that he'll, he'll get better at as the years go. But like you said, I think if you have another complimentary back with him, he'll be able to focus more and it might work out for him and having a little bit of a breather and uh, things will go great for him. And then uh, he also wants to know <laughs> if we overvalue Diggs. So how do you guys feel about that? Do you overvalue him? I don't know if they overvalue him. Because now you guys took a big hit. I, I don't know if it's really a big hit. Gabe Davis did play good. He do have some big moments here and there. You know, he mm-hmm. was showed the ability. He can put up a 200-yard game. Yeah, um, wow. I, I, when y'all lost him, I'm like, okay. That's what made me think y'all going to use that pick to get a wide receiver. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's, he's overvalued. i tell you what. He's probably gonna get a, a bigger workload at the beginning of the first half of the season, I think. Yeah. That's just kind of how it was I last think he's year. He's gonna too. get a bigger workload. Yeah. Yeah, he, and you know. I don't know what I don't know what happened with him near the end of the year, but you know, the first like mm-hmm. five or six games, he was at like he had like eight hundred and something yards. And then near the end of the you know, yeah. from, from week six on, he just he had you know dropped right. the ball a ton and it's just it just didn't seem like he was himself. And so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna think he's gonna do that next year. I think he'll, you know. He'll bounce back. He still had a good season. I mean, and then, mm-hmm. you know, going back to Gabe Davis, I feel like the worst thing that Gabe Davis could have done was have that 200 yard game with four touchdowns. Because mm-hmm. I think after that, obviously, we knew like you can't do that every week, but we thought, oh, he's going to be on an, an ascension where he's going to consistently get, you know, a touchdown a game, maybe, you know, a, you know, 70 to 100 yards, maybe a game. But then that's not how it ended up. You know, he was like one game he had to have, you know, 10 catches, 100 yards and two touchdowns. Then he'll have three games in a row where you got a one or less catch or, or no catches. And then you're just like, he's our number two. What, you know, like, what are you doing? And then, like you said, then he'll come out and have a, a 150 game with, with, with three touchdowns. And then the mm-hmm. next two games, he got no catches. And you're just like, then he gets injured. And then you're like, oh, man, I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm happy for him. I mean, he got paid, what, like 17 million a year. I don't think mm-hmm. I would have done. I don't think I would have paid him that just because the inconsistency in the play. But if it works out for him in Jacksonville, I'll be happy for him because you know I always like Gabe from when we first got him. But yeah, it's All as right. of right now, it's hard to tell if it's going to really hurt us right off the bat. But I think he'll be really focused in on uh, Kincaid and Diggs in the first few weeks uh, while mm-hmm. we get acclimated. But Shake, finish off on your last two, you know, top draft needs, and then. Uh, We'll see if anyone else is going to pop in. Then we can get going on some mock drafts. All right. Um, yep. Well, uh, as offensive line, uh, safety, and mm-hmm. I'd say if we don't get him, if we don't get OD, uh, OBJ, uh, a wide receiver. <clears throat> I like that too. And, uh, okay. I mean, you guys know I'm always in all the videos and the chats and everything, but just so the, these viewers can see, um, uh-huh. I'm not saying draft a quarterback in the first round, but right. would you guys prefer to like cut loose with a guy like Mike White, save some money, and, and draft the backup quarterback 
who could be on your team for three or four years on a rookie deal, you know, could be, could be the third round, could be the seventh round, but would you guys consider, you know, somewhere between the fifth and the seventh? Yeah, I will consider it starting in the mid fourth on down. Yeah, I will yeah. we will have a fourth as so a as two. an insurance. Now yeah, I'm getting yeah. a fourth because I'm trading that pick. Okay. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> and, and you know, it seems like that that conversation always gets your community riled up. And I was just thinking, for me, like I want a great backup quarterback because we saw how, all that all that shit that happened this year. You know, like Rogers goes down, Burrow goes down. down. Mm-hmm. I don't want, I don't want. I don't want a guy like Zach Wilson to go in for me week one if my my quarterback goes down. And Mr. Trubisky is a start. He was a starter in this league, so I'm okay, I guess I'm okay with that. But we're paying him like up to six million dollars if he has to play. I would rather yeah. have. I would you have. You got time, Mr. Trubisky. Yeah, we, we we brought him back. He we had Mr. Trubisky. Oh, okay. Then we had Kyle Allen. Then we got Mr. Trubisky again. So it, that's not a bad one, but okay. I would rather go. You know, I'd rather go young and and get a guy like Josh, you know, not, not like, you know, as good as Josh, but like the same frame, the same, you know, arm strain prototype. Yeah. But prototype. And so when, when, he, if he, if God forbid he does go out, the backup can go in and you don't have to change your offense that much. You can just run the same thing. Obviously he's not going to be as good as Josh, but um, mm-hmm. you know, we tried doing that with Jake Fromm. We, we drafted Jake Fromm in the fifth round a couple years ago. And I was like, man, this is dumb. Cause he, he's not like Josh at all. And I think that was we just we just took him so no one else would take him, and then the next year he was off the team. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat. Like I I'd rather draft right. a younger guy later later in the rounds that's got you know somewhat potential and you know see where it goes. But we're just just a little birdie that tapped me on the on the shoulder. You know, my you know it came from Michael K. Little birdie told me that uh, Josh Allen is gonna be out of the league working at the. Our, uh, you know, YMCA in about two years, you know. <laughs> oh, geez, so I hope not. That'd you, be horrible. You guys are going to be, you know, making arrangements for his replacement in the upcoming season. He'll be he'll be working in the YMCA work desk in Passing the next couple towels. of weeks. <laughs> Passing out towels. Hey, color, how you That's doing, That's just the word. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, guys. How about you? Mm-hmm. Pretty hey, good. What's up, color? What's going on, man? Oh, not much. No, I thought I would jump. I thought I, know I, would... I, I, I know oh, I, I made you I... angry last night, color, but it's all. Oh, good. that's that's <laughs> right. Not, not in a little bit of sleep don't cure, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I go, I go into that type of discussion knowing that's how I could end, bro. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, at some point, I do have to like cut it off, like because I know I'm gonna get to the <laughs> point where we're gonna say things we regret. So I just was like, "All right, time to go to sleep." <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyway, I figured I would. I figured I would. I would grace this uh, Bills fan uh, well, with my you. presence, uh, since you know he named his channel Red, White, and Bills. I mean, you know, I, I am a Patriot, so it's kind of like, you know, I'll give him the, I'll give him the love, whatever. That's what I was thinking. I thought I was like, you know, uh, I feel like someone should have thought of yeah. this by now. It's, it, it just makes sense, you know? So, <laughs> but, uh, I, I was, and, you know, you think it'd get all kinds of traction, man. We just got to start, you know, it is getting out it, there. man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I appreciate that. But, um, so color, I was asking them what they personally want, you know, what their top three draft choices would be as far as position goes. And, you know, I listen to you guys all the time, but, you know, our chat here doesn't listen to you, maybe not as much as I do, but some of them do. I know that. But how about you tell us your top three colors, top three positions that he prefers to draft if you're the Miami Dolphins general manager? Well, I mean, at first I was being cynical about it when I first made the take, and I was the first one. Uh, that said that the Dolphins are, you know, the type of, you know, we can't get out of our own way. So if you look at it from that perspective, I really thought we would probably draft a wide receiver. (laughs) Now I'm actually kind of in favor of that. Like, I know everybody thinks it's the last position that we need to be thinking about. But I just know that when you want a transcendent playmaker like we've seen in the league in the past, you know, the, the Megatrons of the world, the, you know, Julio Jones in his prime, you know, all these guys that end up being these blockbuster, huge receiving playmakers, they're all got like that. They're all drafted when nobody's expecting that team to need a wide receiver. He's there. 
I mean, I favor best on board, and obviously we still need to uh, we need to get the offensive line fixed and maybe a pass rusher or a linebacker. But uh, oh, did we lose him? Did we lose Colin? Linebacker, yeah, obviously, but but when it comes down to it, I would not be upset if we took. You know, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even be upset if we did everything we could to move up to get Marvin Harrison. I mean, and you want a real playmaker. You want a real talent that's yeah, going to change the nature of your franchise. It's going to be a guy like that. Right. Unless it's that's a quarterback. And obviously we ain't going there. So. Right. And plus, right. I mean, I don't I mean, I don't watch every Dolphins game, but. It seems like Waddle and Hill get banged up quite a bit during the game. So, and, and you know, look, you know, we're gonna want we're gonna want to continue to have a talent like Tyreek Hill. He's only getting older. You know what I mean? It's like, right. why not preempt that yeah. when nobody's thinking about it for a guy like a superstar like Marvin Harrison is going to be. Right. Exactly. Okay. I, I I wouldn't. You know, if yeah. I was a Dolphins fan, I, I wouldn't. If I was a Bills fan, I wouldn't like that. But you know, if I was a Dolphins fan, I you know I wouldn't mind that one bit. Having three, three fast, dynamic wide receivers on your team, you know, man, that'd be yeah. that'd be hell for for a lot of defenses. Of course, I I firmly still believe that no matter who has him going where, I think that that was ultimately why the Colts played things the way they did with uh, Jonathan Taylor because I really think they're going to make every effort they can to get Marvin Harrison in that building. I don't see why they wouldn't. I mean, that's you know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's Colts lore home. right there. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. <laughs> he has to get him. Yeah. He has to get him. They, got, they move heaven and earth to get him. Yeah. And they're everybody's forgotten about that aspect. And I think that's quietly how they're going to roll. They're going to swoop in and everybody's going to go, oh, yeah, that's right. Of course. You know, yep. as if we should have made that take. So I'm making it now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I didn't yeah. cross my mind until you just said it. So. Yeah, you heard it here Pittman, first. And was then, the first uh, one to bring that up. I think that's yeah, the was, reason. Uh, it, it, at the yeah, very yeah, least, it's the reason that Ursay was being so uh, was keeping Taylor so close to his chest because he wanted a haul for Taylor in order so he could turn that haul around and make sure he gets Marvin Harrison. Right. That, yeah. So he had a, he had a backup plan if he decided to not want to be there. So yeah, it's a good point. It's mm -hmm. a good yeah. point. Now they got them on the on the roster still, and they can still go make a move. I mean, it's yeah. the we're all looking at it like, why was he being so ridiculous, wanting fifty thousand first round picks and all this and that? And it's like, <laughs> right. well, because right there, because that's going to guarantee you Marvin Harrison. Right. Yeah, that makes mm -hmm. sense. It's funny, crypto. Yep. At first, I had to look really closely, but at first, I thought the dolphin was eating cheese puffs. And then I had to look real close. I'm like, oh, it's Bitcoins. So, uh, no, sense. no, that, those are Ritz crackers. <laughs> <laughs> those are Ritz crackers. He's eating Ritz crackers. Oh, uh, yeah. Formerly Ritz known Ritz. as cheese puffs. <laughs> yeah. Also, right. the UFL yeah. did start today. Okay, I thought it was tomorrow. <laughs> did you guys watch that at all, the UFL? Uh, no. I haven't yet. Is it, is the it guy started? came out of high school. The guy oh, came man. out of high his, his first kick out of high school. A 64-yard field goal. First field goal attempt ever Jeez. since high school. That's he didn't even question. kick a field goal in college. All of college, he didn't even kick not one field goal. Right off the bat, man. Right they, off they the break, bat. He... Yeah, they break the, the original record in the NFL that stood <laughs> that stood since the 70s. You know what I mean? Like, right. wow. He kicks a 64. <laughs> and he had room to spare. It was like it could have went another six or seven yards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it had room now, to in spare. fairness, in fairness, we all we know that the sixty-three yarder uh, record has been smashed a long time ago by a couple different kickers now, but y'all got to realize this dude that set that record, Tom Dempsey from the New Orleans Saints, he, had he only a had half of a foot. Yeah, right. Like he had a he had a he had a birth defect, and he only had half of a kicking foot. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, real quick, uh, real quick, what's the language yep. on here? Oh. Uh, it's it's ruthless, baby. We call it red, white, and ruthless. So you could okay. you can go wild. All right. So let me tell let me say let me say this. Fuck the rock <laughs> for two reasons. The rock. Oh, Not only did he yeah. give a mm -hmm. shitty name to the Florida team last year, the fucking Guardians, but he, oh. he got rid of Florida altogether in this new USFL. Dude, uh, as much as I, I hate the Canes, 
Miami, Florida gave made him a name. Right. And this is how he replaced the state. Fuck him. Hey, I agree. Any story. <laughs> well, he did just turn heel again, didn't he? In uh, <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> Yeah. Now we repay the mm-hmm. state of Florida by taking away the XF, the, the team. Taking away the okay. team, huh? Uh, he's trying to drum up that drama for whenever they come to, uh, whenever WWE comes to South Florida, all the fans are going to be primed and ready to hate on him. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So do you guys want to do a four round? You want to do the whole seven? Do you want to do five? I'll leave it up to you for the mock draft. I'm I'm uh, I'm good for the night, so I'm 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 uh, I'm I ain't got nowhere to go. I'm good so, for yeah. the. You can go to full. All right, we'll, we'll do, do seven. Full. We'll do uh, randomness last draft for needs. We'll keep that there. Hey, uh, uh, Sean, are you following me on uh, Twitter by chance? Well, I don't. I don't have a a, a Twitter account. Oh, oh right on, right on. How do you usually communicate links and stuff like that to people? I uh, I texted. Uh, I sent Lou on Instagram and then I just texted you guys in the group chat. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'll get okay. So if Lou's listening, hey Lou, can you uh, throw me that link on Twitter and a Twitter DM so I can get on my desktop? I, I, I got there. you, man. I got you. Oh, right on. I All forgot. Right, Both of you have me on Twitter too. What am I talking about, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have. Uh, I mean, I know it's I know it's three of you, but you guys will have to come up to a majority. We'll put it in the TFTG your- group chat. Yeah, on right. your picks. Jake wants to hit seven. Okay, okay we're gonna do we're gonna do a, a full seven round mock. All right. All right, let's get it started. You guys can see everything good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. In about two in about two minutes, I will. <laughs> okay, Miami Dolphins are on the just clock. My screen real quick. All right, it's sent. Just let me know. Let me know what oh there's Trade offers. You want to look at trades? Do. You want to? Just yes, I want to see if it if it's any second rounders available. Okay, so oh, I like this. Philadelphia is going to give us uh, swap picks and Devonte Parker. We'll take that one. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so it says it says the the, the Vikings want to trade. I'm kind of confused of what the the trade is though. If I'm reading, we'll this take wrong. we'll take a first round in Brian Flores. <laughs> Give us Brian Flores. Back. So the Vikings are giving us something. It looks like. Hold on. Pick twenty three is their next pick. They want to give us the twenty third pick. Okay. And uh, all they basically trading back, but but what are they giving up extra? What was the other pick? Yeah, I don't know. That'd Kinda. be something else, enough. <clears throat> Move up. How about this? We'll do the first. We'll do the first mock draft without tr- without trades, and then we'll try to figure yeah. out the trades for the second one. Because uh, they're, they're saying that PFF has Excuse a bad uh, trade thing, so right. we'll just we'll just skip okay. it. But um, okay. All right. So, what positions do you want me to highlight? You guys want me to highlight? Tight end, wide receiver, O line, guard, defensive line. That's it. That's those five. Got a lot of holes, but yeah. Oh, yeah, I get it. So, yeah, now you got to add like defensive linemen, too. Yep. Oh, wait. You got a lot of good guys left. JPJ's there. Yeah. Uh, uh, colors backstage. Okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go pop them in. I'm just going to put the all the, the people up. Let me get color in here. Capitan and color, welcome back. There we are, much better. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, thanks for coming in. So we're you no guys problem. are on the clock, and we got wide receiver, tackle, interior O line, defensive line, and edge highlighted. To me, I we would got, take tight end off. I don't think just for shit, just for shits and giggles. Uh, just for shits and giggles. Uh, what quarterback is available? I want to just I want to make some okay. people angry. What about long snapper? <laughs> You're wrong for that. Long Chris, snapper. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's see the quarterback. <laughs> Bo Nix. Bo Nix. Uh-oh. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, by the way, Lewis is backstage, too. Oh, sweet. Bo Nix is, oh, Bo Nix is from Oregon? Are you kidding me? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What's up, Lou? Oh, man. We got like five guys from Oregon on our team. We're, we're good, gonna be, huh? We're going to be up? the Miami Ducks. 
We just started the mock draft. You got you guys are on the clock, and uh, I'm just scrolling through to see. We got uh, quarterback, wide receiver, center, I mean, interior O line, tackle, defensive line, and edge highlighted to look at. I would take I would take quarterback and wide receiver right off the list right away. All right, well, you guys got to all agree. It's all, all five of you are taking it off the list. Damn, oh, Mark Dub, you got somehow you yeah. amassed the whole TFTG crew, man. What what did you do, bro? <laughs> what, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah Tonk, Tonk's a lot. Tonk's around, Tonk. been around tonight too. Get All right, so I here. took for, for Cap, I took the wide receiver and the quarterback out. So now we got Jerz. I don't know how to pronounce. I don't want to screw up his name. We got Newton from Illinois. Jerzan Newton. Jerzan. Got a Marius Mickens. JPJ, who that's what? What Marcus. tight end is available? Let's see. Might have to take that one off if there's no good. Durham Smythe Jr. <laughs> there ain't a tight end popping. There he is right Sanders. there. Jatavion Sanders. Nope. There you go. You can take him off the list. What about center? Uh, is center available? Jack uh, Powell yes. Johnson, is he available? Yeah, what, he's right there. What, what, yeah, JP what, is available. what, what pick is this? Is this the first round 21? Yep, it's 21. Yeah, yeah, we forced to actually take our pick and not trade it. The, oh, uh, to so me, let's check the wide receivers real uh, quick. You know I'm trading it's, that. They're pick. already up. Like, uh, and, oh, we took wide receivers also. Yeah, I mean, took them up. You got, uh, what's his name? Adonai Mitchell. Wide, yeah, fuck that. Mm. Lad McConkey, who I'm not Lad I McConkey, like. I would love what? to have him. but Who's the uh, highest rated guard? Not at 21, I'm not taking Lad nah, McConkey. Nah, nah. Well, them guys all, they can all. do guard and center. But after him, it's uh, let's see. The drop. Well, I'm looking. I'm looking at a lot of edges and a lot gotta, of yeah. We gotta uh, go tackle on this one, then. Defensive the interior guys. Roman Wilson from. Uh, well, hold on a second. I'm looking. I'm looking at a lot of defensive interior guys and a lot of uh, D tackles. We gotta get Wilkins um, replacement in here. Uh, and uh, nah. edge rushers that are available still on the board. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You get Marvin Harrison. What about his counterpart over in Michigan? Uh, well, hold on. We're, who thinks he's a power right Don't now. we have the fifty? Don't we have the fifty second pick? Yeah, or the fifty five? Yeah, fifty five. Yeah. So I'm just looking. I, I I don't see any reason why there isn't going to be an edge rusher there for us to grab if we wanted that. So I I I'd probably go offensive lineman, and yeah, that'll be left tackle. I gotta give I gotta give uh, Armstrong out the building. Well, yeah, I don't. What, what tackles are available? Right. Now? Well, Marius, Marius Mins, no. Graham Barton from Duke. How about that kid from Michigan? Taylor Guyton. Taylor no. Guyton from Oklahoma. Jordan no. Morgan. Jordan no. Morgan. Uh, we need not, somebody not, that's corn fed. Okay, I guess what about not, Iowa? Not, not new or whatever's not on. Jordan I'll tell you Morgan. What, that tell you sounds what, like a good. What linebackers? Line what linebackers <laughs> are available? Hmm, we 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 need somebody that's corn fed from Iowa. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not going. I'm not going linebacker with 21 though. Well, let me. I just want to oh, see no, what, what's linebacker available. Is, it's kind of weak in this class. This draft. No, Peyton I, Wilson not, is the best. So, nope, you know, I'm not taking Peyton, Peyton Wilson from North linebacker Carolina State. Maybe at 50, so. Got me no. fucked up. What, no. what, so so what <laughs> edges? What 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 edges are still on on the board? All right. Let me just put edge solely, just so it's easier to look. Yeah. Is Eichenberg available? He'll be available in the fifth. Yeah, he'll be, he'll be I'm available. just saying, everybody's, he'll be available draft, when room, the UDFAs everybody's around. draft room's discussions should be exactly like this. We're just going at each other. No, fuck that. I don't want that guy. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Chris Braswell from Alabama. Chop Robinson's still available. That's I like the that. Pick. That's the pick for me. I like that. Are you there. kidding I'm me? Chop. I'm taking chop at the I would love back. that. I know it's we a bit of a reach. Chop. I like the chop, honestly. It, well, wait a minute. What's well, hold on, position? hold on. Before before I before I say yes on the chop, right? I want to no, see what no, tack no, what uh what uh offensive line the are there line inside now. interior. Yeah. Yeah. Power Johnson is 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 there. Okay, hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, uh, yeah, but. Mm. Mm, I don't know. Uh, you say Howard Johnson. Johnson. Well, you get Johnson. He's a swing, Powers. He's a swing lineman. Oh, uh, no, I like but, but, again, that we're talking about value. That's what you're trying to get in the draft, right? At Chop Robinson. He he. There's now again, we all like motor. That's why we BPA. fell in love with Jalen Phillips, right? 
like Chop Robinson, his motor never stops, bro. He is a he is a pass rusher that is projected in this league to have ten or plus more sacks for years to come. Mm. No, nah, I don't know if I'm passing that up. Well, shit. Listen, I'm not. I'm not saying he's, he's I don't want wrong. Chop Robinson, but to me. By what I'm looking left on this board. Now, this board might not be the board, but I'm looking at the positions left, and there is a lot of pass rushers, a lot of a lot of tackles, and not a lot of interior offensive linemen. Um, scroll down a little further. Yeah, I, I don't know though. I'm just, I'm just there, pass rusher. When we talk about pass rusher, yeah, there are, but there, there's not. Again, there's Somebody levels. There's the levels run. at every position. That's what people tell me I'm all the going. time. From I'm going quarterback to tackle. receiver to whatever, there's keep scrolling levels. down for me. Keep keep scrolling down for me. I'm going Jordan Morgan at tackle. Nah, yeah, keep going. Man. That's right, a hell of an offensive slow line down. name right there, man. Yeah, dude, I, I got I, I, no no bullshit. It, we got right now from the Big Ten. It's either Chop Robinson line. or or Jackson Powers. I'm sorry, and I'm not I'm not certain that the Dolphins Patrick would take Paul, a Jackson. That's another good Jackson name Powers right there, Johnson. Man. So I bet you uh, I'm gonna get him from, from Georgia. Aaron Donald, man. Give me, give me the chop. Yeah, I'm taking right. chop. There's you guys got to all. There's five of you, so you got to have three to two. So well, I'll go with chop. I'm gonna go with the group. I mean, okay, yeah, so going so going chop. Right. chop it up. I said all, all right, I can say. Nobody heard, so we'll go chop. Oh, well. <laughs> We could okay. we could trade back next time around because I would have much rather have traded back, but yeah, yeah, this, 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 yeah apparently yeah, the, time, this man, one's got up. bad trade thing. It does, like it's all screwed up. So we'll, we'll, I'm we'll just thinking like when people, we'll people were doing mock drafts back when Aaron Donald was drafted, how many people were like Aaron Donald? Nah, yeah. uh, nah, uh, well, nah. <laughs> Chop Robinson, welcome to the motherfucking Miami Dolphins. <laughs> yeah, you lost. yeah, boy, yeah, that's a sorry ass pick. Know, that's a sorry ass pick. Sorry. Oh, I already know who I'm picking at corner for this pick, man. Put them corners back up there. <laughs> there he is right there. Cooling. Two get ready. injured. Don't say shit. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's Chuck Robinson. Bullshit. Oh, Cooling you know what? Richard Street. Damn. <laughs> man, I got I to gotta do it to him because I didn't think it was possible for him to still be here. I got to go with my boy, JPJ. Yo, how do you center. not pick Kool-Aid, bro? What a hell of a name. Ah, his injury, JPJ? that's all. Yeah. I'm going to get JPJ because I don't think he's going to be there like realistically, but I've been we're, – we're, so the Bill's mindset is our left guard had his best year as a pro last year at left guard. So when our, all, when our, our great center leaves to go to a different team, instead of getting a new center, we're going to put our left guard to center. Now we got to worry about two positions. So if we draft a guy like JPJ, we could put our – our guard back to guard instead of playing them at center. So well, 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 Sean, let me stop you right there. You're talking to the wrong goddamn group here because all I've been told is that Josh Allen can overthrow everybody and outrun and run over everybody. You don't need no offensive line. Who the fuck are you Hor- talking about? That. Horrible pick. Who are you horrible talking about? Pick. What? Well, every hey, hey Sean, I'm Since talking about everybody on this on this panel besides me. Says that besides Josh Allen- besides who? <laughs> besides who? Who's yeah, that? Uh, Josh Allen. I don't even know who that guy is talking right Cat, now, so Cat, you can't trust Cat the fucking Lowe, word that bitch said. Cat, Cat loves Josh Allen. Sean. Get the fuck up <laughs> out of here, boy. He's a Josh, Josh Allen lover. You know what I do feel? I do feel like Josh Allen is absolutely on the spectrum. Next time you get a dead shot look at him right down the middle of his face, his eyes are small and real close to his nose. I'm pretty oh, sure he's on the spectrum, dog. That's so not, if you look, uh, that's down, bro. Damn. That's not the spectrum. Yeah, that's down, uh, yeah. He he might he right. might be. Be fully on the <laughs> down the squad and if that's the case then god bless him he's been really good as a guy you know doing what he's, he's accomplishing. Bad, it's more bad, likely bad, his bad. mama just drank while she was pregnant <laughs> oh shit damn now nah, right, he was born in the it, 90s it, it, and from shit, Hawaii, uh, uh, 80s, Wyoming? all right um from california let's uh oh. let's put wide receiver on this one though all right so wide receiver anything else yeah, let's do interior offensive line, interior defensive line. I would do tackle as well. Let me see what. Oh, yeah, might, as well, might as well do you tackle know, as well. You're right. <laughs> All right, let's uh, see what we got. Alabama's literally oh, got a guy gone. player named Kool Aid. You can't make this shit up. Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, you can. <laughs> Kool Aid. Well, Chris Jenkins still there? Jenkins is pretty good. 
That's that wide receiver. No, that's that the D the D uh, lineman from Michigan. Another Oregon boy. Oh man, Sweat pick. is still there. There it is. That's the pick right there. Oh shit! Oh, in the second round. Give me set. Yeah, give me give that three hundred. No. Give me that six three, three hundred and sixty pound D tackle. Hell yeah, yeah. I want Big that. Do that bitch. color, beefing up the D line, huh? I'm taking sweat. Me and Cap got sweat. We need one more. I only know two things that live in Texas, and he ain't got no horns. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Damn shit! I mean, well, scroll up and down. Y'all and, and, see somebody? And, Y'all got to pick and, somebody and, else then. I know I like Any sweat. similarities like, no, to freaking no, Marquez? Bro, sweat, sweat. sweat at 55, bro. That's great value. That kid mm-hmm. is a monster, bro. Yeah, he got absolute monster. Monster. He's sliding down the draft board, Lewis. I'm a little queasy. Man, crypto, you're fucking up the draft, Crypto. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little queasy. <laughs> he ain't going to slide to 158, Crypto. I promise you that. No, I'm so nervous right. about that. Sean, Sean, just put it down. The pick is in. We're taking sweat. After you're running up to the running up to the, the podium. We're, run, we're running up to the podium. As we I'm speak. tripping over my own feet this is on the way to the podium. Just let running, you know. running, this running, running like a madman. This is, this this is Jeff Ireland. Bullshit. That what is best. Here, then? Devondre Sweat, welcome to the Miami. Yeah, what's up, what's Shake, up, buddy. Shake? You don't like this draft, Shake? this Shake? is no, R dub. I think this it's is a, definitely Shake said this draft is already a bust. The funniest stream this, you've this, ever this had. This got to be some of the dumbest shit I've ever seen. Oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> <laughs> what you mean, bro? We got Chop Robinson. We got fucking Sweat. Our D line got to be some, some of the dumbest shit I've, dumbest ever, seen. I've ever seen. Well, you might as well take. <laughs> I mean, whoa, whoa, right, what was that shake? <laughs> man, shake's getting heated on you guys right now. Well, well, who do we want? Who do we want then? F-5? Well, it's, it's picks already oh, made now. God damn it! Oh well, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're, 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 you, guys, you guys, you guys are you guys are worse than Ireland. And listen, I, I'm I'm kind, I'm practically married, so I'm used to not having to say. El El Capa Iron. That's what he Ireland. That's what he is. Okay. Man, like well. that, I'd have traded back if I was really doing all this. I trade back every time. Every time I'm on the clock, I'm taking a trade back. Fuck them. That's wild how there's like no you trade back no into the UDFAs. Left. There ain't no, there ain't no D, there ain't no defense no left, dog. There's ain't no, no tight value. Ends. Well, actually, t- yeah, you no, shouldn't be no. picking no tight end right now. Hmm. I actually I'm, like the I'm draft, between though. Chris Jenkins and. Uh, Man, Trek reviewer's boy Johnny Wilson, and the, you know he loves Johnny Wilson, but I don't know after this round any wide receivers are going to be worth getting. I'd so. be taking that safety from. Oh, the receivers uh, go deep it? all through the draft. You ain't got to worry about that. We got safeties up too already. Uh, yeah, Cap. who's the best safety available? Jaden Hicks. No, Jaden Hicks. That's who I'd be grabbing. Mm. Yeah, Capoyer's on his last leg. Mm. I want to. I want to go. Gone. Eight, eight no, more. bro, this is the Bills pick. Crypto. Oh. <laughs> I'm going Jenkins because you guys took sweat and we need another D tackle. Mm. That's true. It's mm. the, the fact that Jenkins is still available. I would have taken him if, if sweat was gone and looked Absolutely. at Jenkins. You know yep. what I'm saying? I, I'm all about beefing up the D line. Fuck around all and right. find out. You can never have too many defensive tackles. Ask the Giants. No. All right. They won a Super Bowl. I'm back on the clock. And it the does suck to see all those people picking before you, uh, knowing that you didn't win the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So now we're in the fifth round. No, no it's no. Bills Fourth. pick. It's the Bills pick. Oh shit. He's, how many, he's picking man, for the how many Bills picks too. The Bills got more than us. We only have one in the first and the second. And then we don't have nothing till the fifth. Damn, we're we gonna be on day pick. three. Damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we get one pick day one, the one pick day two. And that's it. Unless the they trade back. Picks. He was on that Coke. The Damn. good Miami Coke out there. Damn, he was on the on the on the you talking about you you talking about that pink coke Diddy was coke. handing out to people? <laughs> Hell oh <laughs> shit. Not that pixie <laughs> dust, dog. Not that hey, pixie dust. Hey man, I heard he had that pink, that pink on him. I heard he did too, dog. I heard he had that special little fizzle right, in that on. champagne. Scroll Man, down chat, a little bit. My chat's not even talking about Shake, shake money. What's on? the draft grade looking like? Okay, scroll back huh? down a little bit. I found your guy. A plus crypto. Keep going. Keep going. Keep <laughs> going. Keep going. Yeah, like a re- remedial keep guy going. from Buffalo. Well, there you go. Right. There. <laughs> Isaiah Adams. 
Yeah. Oh, no, my God. Isaiah Adams, man. I haven't done any research on that guy. That's how you know he's going to be a star. Like four yeah, or five years name. from now, people are going to be like, where did he come from? I good believe. Name. I believe uh, color just goes by the name. If it's a good football name, draft. Yeah, lately, lately, that's what I've been doing. I don't know. <laughs> that guy's name is Muhammad Camera. Mix- Muhammad <laughs> Camera, Colorado you know, State edge rusher. That's a pretty good football name, right there. Sounds like a guy who go I full remember, jihad I, on your I, ass. I remember Camera. when color eleven picks, bro. Color would have yep. never drafted Skylar <laughs> Thompson. No, he would not. Nope. And he still, <laughs> you're never going to see that name in the Hall of Fame, bro. Just I, I, uh, really. Like, can I, you all really <laughs> picture Skylar underneath a bust in the Hall of Fame? Hey, I love Even Jerry Rice's I, son is gone. I, I love when Color says Skylar. <laughs> Skylar. <laughs> Skylar. <laughs> Damn. Yo, there's this chick on YouTube that goes by that name. She's got a channel. It's Yo, like you, Skylar you, well, Time or something like that. And I'm like... Yo, mm. Skyler got himself a YouTube channel. What happened? I'm gonna go listen, Braylon like, Allen. Just like you never listen, you're never gonna see. He might have Robinson. a good first name, but his last name is nah, the best. Nah, in the world. Nah. Hey, nah. hey, you're never gonna see Chop Robinson in the Hall of Fame. That's a name. <laughs> that, 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 uh, whatever, that, dude. Hey, motherfucker's name is Chop. I, agree, Jake. I tried Chop to tell Robinson is the name that, of a guy that makes license plates and sing sing. Exactly. <laughs> Listen, and that's the guy I want on my D line. <laughs> that's the guy I want on my like, defensive uh, line, bro. Like, like, no, I don't know. Like Pac Man Jones, bro. I don't know if you guys heard the pick for Buffalo in round three, but I love the Braylon Allen pick, Sean. That would have been my guy. Now that's a football. I'm hearing good things about him, Braylon Allen. Yeah, Braylon Allen, man. Listen, he he's a guy that can. I mean, powerful, right? Has the size, also has the speed. There's some questions in like mm. the catching ability coming out of the backfield, but again, those are those are things I think you could be taught. Oh, route yeah. running, mm. route running is kind of questionable with him, but from just the running back position, though, has the speed, has the size. You know, it gives I, you a I run love, too I, much. I, I love everything about him. I think the other things that there are some question marks. Those are coachable things, but from an <laughs> athletic standpoint, the kid, the kid has everything you want. So I think yeah. that's a good pick. That's perfect because we were just talking about it before uh, you jumped on, getting a you know a compliment to James Cook, and I think I think he's got it. So, oh, yeah, absolutely, def- that's a definitely a no. good one-two punch with him and Cook it, for sure. Is he corn fed and is he from Iowa? That's all I need to know. He played for Wisconsin, so he was partially corn fed at least. Yeah, he's oh, from okay. Wisconsin. He's got think, some great. I think he's like <laughs> six one. I think he's like six one, like two twenty, something like that. So he's a big boy. Oh, oh, okay, so he's got thing. a little bit of corn, maybe some wheat on the side. I can tell you guys one thing. I'm not drafting anybody named Cornelius. <laughs> hey, man, Cornelius. Cornelius, man, y'all he's, he, Cornelius. Yeah, Cornelius. Yeah, y'all got Cornelius. Yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Best yeah. Guys of all time, train, bro, ain't ain't seriously? Any from the Soul Train? The guy from the Soul Train? Isn't he in the Hall of Fame? No. No, Cornelius is that guy from the North Pole off Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's the Cornelius I want. God damn it, Crypto. That Cornelius. What are you doing here, Crypto? I'm going to go and get the comments. Because <laughs> Von, who knows about Von Miller? Man, we got another oh. pick before you guys got one. Damn. Von, Von Miller, that's a horrible contract for you guys. Ugh, gosh, don't tell me about it. <laughs> Look at Marcus Rose Rosemi Jack Saint. You guys know anything about him? I never heard of him. <laughs> no, nah. I would never trust a guy where his last name is Saint Meat. I don't know. <laughs> Saint Meat. Bro, y'all had Saint a five time <laughs> pro bowler named Cornelius, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I said I wouldn't draft I wouldn't draft a Cornelius. Well, you gotta go you gotta go Luke McCaffrey Man, here, bro. bro. That's what I was thinking because with the leftover receivers, it's Luke McCaffrey yeah. come from the blood. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's playing his daddy's That's the position. younger son, huh? He oh, plays bro. wide receiver. He's, He's gonna from be way Rice. Than his brother. He went to the rich kid Rice school. Okay, Miami Dolphins back on the clock. All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Hey, let's I'm put. Let's McCaffrey. put. Take a shot at Luke. Let's I'm put tight McCaffrey. end on here. 
Shake you let's put O line. First. Let's put let now. It's gonna be shocking this, this, what I this, say. This draft is headed uh, to the let's basement put, anyways. Okay. Let's check what quarterbacks <laughs> are available now in the fifth round. Well, what, wait what a minute. Is, we ooh. we never took a wide receiver in the first. Joe Milton the third. Uh, is we can go with McCaffrey on this. One. I'm taking. I'm willing to this, take that shot. This, this is where I shot. I'm taking McCaffrey on this one. Well, no, uh, crypto. Well, uh, Sean just took McCaffrey off the board. Oh, well, fuck. Sean, oh, he man. took him off the what, board. No, what we're I'm trading saying is, stealing, it, stealing Cap, McCaffrey like that. Cap, Cap, this one's <laughs> for you, right? The yeah. Miami Dolphins in the fifth round select Joe Milton as the quarterback. Damn. Damn. Oh my God. There, there you is. go. Uh, there you go. If the Joe Milton is there, I'm going to have to go with that one. <laughs> <I think it. laughs> there you go. No, that take that. That'll, rattle, that'll rattle some pots and pans in, in South Florida. Arm, hey, the kid's got a fucking that'll, arm on him. That'll He's got do a fucking it. Arm. You guys want to look at tackles? Today? Joe Milton, there nope. you go. There's our there's our emergency. Joe Milton Break glass sure. in case of emergency. Right oh, there. shit. Javon Foster is there, though, still from Missouri. But. Oh, oh he'll know. be there. I'm still in the, taking Joe Milton because I don't know what he could do. Right? He's got, he's got yeah, fucking. Like, that's our chance, Cap. We that's our chance to finally and, do it. And, and, that's and our backup like, plan. And, and what I like about Joe Milton, right? It's something that we we sometimes we don't like the offensive scheme, right? We don't like the timing based offense and this and that. Well, why bring in a guy that can only run that? This this gives the Miami Dolphins a mm. whole nother identity. Bringing a yep. quarterback that has different skill sets than what Tua brings. So and, and Lewis, right here, I know I know I'm taking, this is I'm kind... taking my chance on a QB two. I'm taking and, Yeah, that's and about Lewis, the right and round Lewis, to do it. And Lewis, if you're gonna do it, yeah, that's the of, round to do it then. I know this is kind of like unimportant, but speaking from you know the Dolphins YouTube community and all that, this would actually people would understand what I'm trying to say here. Yo, even A B A B is on board with drafting Joe Milton, dude. Damn oh yeah that's yeah. right he is. I forgot yeah. about that. You're right, color. I, I think actually I even a, he is. I take a chance on the fifth round. I, I know, you know, we, we I mean, missed out on the color and ABAB. Listen, I, I just want to I just want to point out guy, what his stats were. Do it. Just want to point out what his stats were this past season where he got the most okay. where where he was the starter, right? All right. He had 2813 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, mm-hmm. only 5 interceptions, had a 70.4 QBR rating. The kids from Pahokee. Yeah, I'm taking a hometown kid. Oh, six bring foot him five. Hokey. Six Damn. foot five, two thirty five. Yeah. Bring Joe him Miller, home. He's a Florida. He's a Floridian. He's a Welcome Palm Beach County boy. boy. He's Welcome a Florida home, Joe. boy. What? Bring him home. Uh oh. But so that's the bring him home right there. Bring then. There you go. Him. He's in Palm well, Beach County, people. Well, the Damn, thing I is, know he's from Florida. Captain told you what the most intriguing thing is: six five, two thirty. Two two thirty five. Yeah, that's Boy, big. big. That actually kidding big. Me? That's he huge. To, that is a big the court. Fifth Damn. round, dude. Are you kidding me? And yeah, yeah that's crazy. That's value. Listen, oh, man. his hey, rushing listen, yards. Are Will Levis dropped to the fifth round, didn't he? I think so. Listen, all I know is if we if we draft this quarterback, it'll upgrade our our our, tra- our defense our our draft to trash. <laughs> up, oh, he said it. Uh, really want trash. to make it trash? Ah, uh, Shane, go with Shane Williams, right there and for safety. Uh, he, he said an upgrade to trash. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Oh, Shane, he had an Shane eighty-one right yard there, touchdown run in college. So, yeah, there you he's go. A, he's yeah. a six. No, no, I mean, that's a great pick. I mean, listen. He been he been he he started out at Michigan, stayed there a couple years, re-enlisted over in Tennessee, and worked his bottom from the top. Dog, what do you want? Yeah, yeah. I think in you the know, fifth round, Shake, our former owner, yeah. used to be in charge of waste management. That's he would be happy. Great. Wayne no, Isinga would be happy. Hey, wait, what round. did you say that? What did you say the uh, metrics were on Joe Milton? Right now, it's listen, six yeah. foot five, two hundred and thirty-five pounds. When was the last time we had a guy that was six foot five, two hundred and thirty pounds? Yeah. That guy that we got from from that uh, actually, De- Devontae Freeman. Marino, or, actually, no, not Devontae. That quarterback Freeman that we brought into camp. Remember, he used to be yeah, with Tampa, maybe and he was Dante really good. Culpepper, maybe what, what, Dante Culpepper. Oh, yeah, Culpepper. Yeah, Culpepper. yeah, that's right, Culpepper. But before too, right? that, who is six foot five and two hundred and thirty some odd pounds? Yeah, Culpepper was the last guy. Jesus? Uh, and Marino? <laughs> oh. Marino was 6'4", like 220 or something like that. I was yeah, going to say Jesus. 
In the fifth round, that's great value. Tim Joe Tebow? Mullen. Tim Tebow. <laughs> Yeah, Tim Tebow. Tebow yeah. That's a big guy. <laughs> he was big. You nailed it. Marino is 6'4", 224. 6'4". Yeah. Damn. All yeah. right, Miami Dolphins. Yeah, I remember yeah, Marino's uh, measurements color. <laughs> Shake, how you feeling for this one? Uh, uh, good. Right now, it's uh, like I said, right now our, our draft is a dumpster fire. Now, after this, it would be trash. <laughs> You're trying to upgrade the trash. <laughs> that's fire. We've we've graduated to barrel fire. Listen, this is where we find our real value, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. This is where we really get to it. Let's look for O line now. This is where Chris Greer starts cooking. <laughs> oh, Chris Greer. Oh Greer. yeah, in the seventh round. Ooh, oh yeah. That's actually a really hundred hundred nerves that that's a that's a really we did, we highlighted him in our last show. That's actually a really good pick in the sixth round. There. He's probably Bring going him in, home in the fourth. Penn State. Bring guy. him home. I want a Cornelius on my roster. Oh, you want the Soul Train? Crypto, you don't lost your goddamn mind. Um, I'd go with that football <laughs> man below him. He played some right tackle. He played some left tackle. <laughs> played some guard. Played some center. He played all over the Project place. Project guy. Liam Eikenberg might be in his Bring last him year. Home. Bring this Hunter Eikenberg guy is in Famer. here. Is, he's from Thomas. Penn State. Is, is he? Is he? Good. Is he Why? so light? Is he so white that he's like? Super freaking pale, like the Penn State uh, uh, center would he be. Turns red. He <laughs> turns red. That's right. He said, uh, that guy, it, we'll get him. We'll, we'll give him a tan when he gets. He gonna, we're not right. he gonna, any, he's gonna. He's gonna turn that. Wyoming. I'm just saying. In in South Florida, he's gonna turn that high pink color that the Yankees turn when they come down here. Mm -hmm. That'll just make him meaner. He, he said the Yankees. Hey, uh, hey, hey crypto, <laughs> real quick, uh, crypto. Being that you're on Pete's uh, film breakdown crew. Can you text him and maybe get his, his advice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know All what right. crew you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> you guys are back on the clock. You want, you want quarterback? Shake is in his bag, boys. Watch out. <laughs> Shake's just throwing shots at everybody. That shit was funny as hell, Shake. Mm -hmm. on the official I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like the Matrix tonight. You know? All right, let's uh, <laughs> let, let's look at tight end now and D line too. Uh, yeah, we got to get Javon Javion Cohen from uh, the U. They that looks him. good. You got for tight end. You got a guy named Tip, which makes me uncomfortable. Tip <laughs> yeah, I don't really, yeah, yeah. I'm not. If he was especially a CB, in Miami, you don't want to be in the condition of Tip in Miami. Yeah, yeah. if he was a if he was a corner, maybe. Um, go to uh, is, right? Tanner McLaughlin. Go to uh, do that, right, that right? ever heard of a condition of tip and, and and put linebacker up there too because everybody you always need a linebacker late in there for fucking special teams. Some of you might know the condition of tip. Chambers, the, as hell being yeah! Curled. What a name! Hey, is, check the running backs for me. Is Frank Gore Jr. still available? Oh, that's yeah, right. That's, that's a good name. Nah, he's probably gone by now. I'd be surprised if he's no, still he's, there. he's way yeah. down there, dog. There he is. Oh God! Bring him home. He must be trash. Oh, yeah, he must be trash. <laughs> that's right, my that, that's my pick. I'm bringing home Frank Gore uh, Jr. Are you kidding me? We're not gonna let the legend's son go undrafted. What are we? Y'all don't want turtle. No, we we'll get him as a UDFA. He's much cheaper. Cap. No, no turtle. No, we'll draft him. Now we control it. Chambers, just for that name. Let's check out his. Check out his stats. Oh my God. Oh, man. 13 Jake, games he... played. Man, parents no, are UDFA, really he, he their needs kids to be a UDFA. Days, the guy's not He's good at stopping trash. the run or rushing the passer. So what is he good at? He's got a badass name, though. He's got good coverage skills, though. Good in coverage. Let's see how he performed against. Oh, decent grade against Michigan. That's not Wisconsin. A good grade against Wisconsin. Those are some terrible good against fucking Notre Dame. Notre Dame, you got you got his booty uh, spanked. <laughs> what was Frank Gore Jr.'s uh, numbers? Let me see if I can go back. What, 88 overall grade. 1,119 yards on 229 attempts. And Michael carry. 10 touchdowns. 1,100 yards on 20, 200 carries, basically. 10 touchdowns. Yeah, bring them home. It's not even close. Yeah, 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 he, yeah. He, he graded out pretty well. That's solid. Yeah, uh, I, I just want him in the building so we can I mean, finally get rid of Savanak, man. His solid mascot logo looks mean too, so bring him home, man. 
Yeah, well, I know, want, I know, Steel's got some. You don't tell Batman to pay his money. Steel's got some oh, work to do in the run shit. in the run game, but he's a special teamer for year one. We still got mad picks in seventh round. That's trash. All right, Zion. Damn. These are all best available right now. Joshua Cephas. Mm. I'm telling you, your guy is that dude from the U. Don't color. <laughs> You're helping him. What about Don't what about him. a guy named Anim Dankwa? I mean, he better sounds have like the a bad dank. That sounds Can't like have a last name like Dankwa and not have Dankwa. a satchel on you, dog. Uh, let's see. Like, what are we smoking on tonight? Some Dankwa? Hell yeah. Oh, Tualia. There you go. Get Tulia. There go Tulia Tongue of Aloha oh, right there. Oh, imagine him going to Buffalo. That would be hilarious. Oh, if not for nothing, you guys can use him on the scout team to prepare for the Dolphins. <laughs> That's true. All right. Miami Dolphins last pick. You you gotta, Tyler Thompson. You got to make right, it a good one. So, last pick, seventh rounder. Are we taking Tulia? <laughs> We're taking two quarterbacks oh, in this draft. So hilarious, seeing as we got Skyler to emulate Josh Allen, and they get Talia to emulate. Tua. I was trying to say Freeman. I was telling everybody, no one was listening. I was saying Who's that Cleo guy Lemon? Freeman that that we got. He was huge. Cleo Lemon was our greatest quarterback since Dan Marino. My friend Jake said that's his favorite Dolphin of all time. <laughs> Cleo Lemon, I bet. Yeah. As a Bills my, fan, I can Bill understand was why he would say that. <laughs> so uh, let's look at is. wide receiver. What wide receivers are available? Let's see. Maybe we can find our new Isaiah Ford. Hayden Hatton, Lead a Trick Griffin. I love Isaiah Ford. These are the only two wide receivers left. It says. Well, I ain't taking either the hell one. Was of them that bumps. guy's name Lied a Trick? Lied a Trick Griffin. Lydia Trick. Lydia Trick. Oh my gosh! What a name. and you know you know what's funny is we traded Isaiah Ford to the Patriots and got him back, had him on the roster by the end of the season. Well, then we poached him off their practice squad. They gave us a sixth round pick, then put him on his practice squad three year, three weeks later. We sniped him. I Any like other, this Trey Knox Trey from Knox. South Carolina like at, at tight right end. There, man. Yeah, Trey Let's Knox. Let's see what his deal is. Any oh, relation, he sucks. relation to Dawson? I don't think so. So he's he had 37, 37 catches on 46 targets. He's got 1.28 yards per route. Fuck that guy. <laughs> like a spitting image of Dawson. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah, and, uh, what about Jared what about this Wiley? guy? A little bit I'm better. I wonder if that's uh, Marcellus. Is that Marcellus this kid, dude? What's that? Is that Marcellus Wiley's kid? I don't know. Maybe. If it is, he's a dog, man. <laughs> yeah, he had eight, eight touchdowns, 11 yards of catch, 47. He's a little catch. rich boy kid. He ain't got no dog. Oh, Marcellus played for you guys, too, for a minute. That's right. He's a he's a big – he capes for the Bills. I love it. By the way, uh, Sean, what's your college college of, uh, favorite college of choice? Uh, well, by default, it's Syracuse, and then my dad went to Ole Miss, so I root for Ole Miss, too. Okay. What about uh, tackle? Josiah Ezra. Eastern Kentucky. I don't think so. KT. Kansas Leviston. State. Maryland. Delmar Glaze. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think that's Marcellus' kid. No offense. Um, What about guard? <laughs> Any guards? You're a little too ginger to be uh, Marcellus. Oh. <laughs> hey, you never know. Well, I would. Okay, white is one thing. Ginger is another. Ginger. <laughs> there other. you go. Give me, give me the Layden Robinson, Texas A&M guard. All right, you're coming home. All right, and then the last. You pick, guys now take Tuli Tonga Valoa to, to unseat Josh Allen. Yep. Bro, that, that would, would be, be so, so apropos for you guys to take. That would be the craziest when we shit. got y'all's emulator. Yeah, he uh, Josh Allen gets hurt week one, and then Tualia takes us to the Super Bowl. 
When is this a Super by Bowl? beating the Dolphins in the playoffs the in Miami. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. We got we got the wrong Tuvaloa. Hey, Shit. Hey, if we hold on to two, <laughs> that, that would be something in the playoffs, bro. That would be we fucking problems, nuts, dude. Man. Okay, guys. The first draft. We're gonna we're gonna go to another one that's got good trade things. I'll I'll find a better one. All right. So here's the Bills. The Bills draft. We got damn JPJ. y'all suck. Chris Jenkins, Braylon Allen. Damn, Xavier the Luke Thomas. McCaffrey pick was that's bad. Luke McCaffrey, that's your best one. They gave you a D on yeah, that, but I don't care. That dude's going to be a nightmare in the AFC East, man. Bo Braid, safety. Damn, your, te- your fucking later rounds are better. The Darius With Henderson. Steel Chambers. Steel Chambers is the A-, minus, solid. Yeah. What was your overall grade? B+. B plus. Uh, no, gotta... what, did, what did we get? Wow. Probably F minus. Oh fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> damn, our grades are terrible, yeah, dog. God damn! Look at that. Damn! That son of a bitch! Oh, get that off shit. the screen before he all of our fans start clipping. Robinson, God, shit! Shit! So here's the first You're round. Draft, here's damn! The FPG, man, this Go is on. how the first round went. Caleb Williams, Drake <laughs> Jaden Daniels, Marvin Harrison, Malik Neighbors, JJ McCarthy, Joe Alt, Roma Dunze, Dallas Turner. Fuaga, I'm not gonna pronounce his first name. Police, Brock Bowers at 11. Wow. Police, Jared Verse. Mm. Wait, who took McCarthy? The Patriots. Police, not we died. The Giants. Oh, the Giants. Wow. Yep. Wait, who wow. took Mara okay. Harrison? Oh, wow. Mitchell. That's the exact go, team that Louis would take man. JJ McCarthy to would be go, the Giants. Louis. They're so uh, stupid. They're already oh. done with Daniel Jones, even though they gave him that 45 million bucks. Look at that. All I know is this: hmm. this is the Bill channel. We got set up with we got set up with our grade. The yeah, we did. Shut yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Sean done fucking yeah. hook line and sinker this whole, whole thing, grade. dog. You guys had five grades. HTML before. Uh, I don't know, Sean. I think you done fucking rigged this bitch on us, trying to make Dolphin fans look stupid yeah, on your channel. Sean, Sean, fuck fuck us. That's a <laughs> fucking <laughs> dick move, Sean. He's That's a dick a move, bro. <laughs> right there, open on his desktop to change the yeah. browser before. Hold on, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. You guys did a good uh, job. I know what he did. Uh huh. I'm from South Florida, damn it. I know when the deck is stacked against me, bro. I would never. Don't no, no play. But let me hey, tell you two, what, you guys. Those picks, those two picks uh, didn't help at all. The first two picks. <laughs> Shut up, Shake. <laughs> You're not helping us out, Shake. What's going on? Well, Shake we wanted like to trade too. back. Uh, we didn't boy. like any of the picks. You guys are going to get a redemption here because we're going to go to a better site that the guys used last week on the show. And we would have bet off with the long stop. Oh, right? oh, oh, Lou, Lou, now we're going to do the real draft, Lou. Now it's the real draft. Now it's the real draft. <laughs> we're going to do the trade one. <laughs> Jake, Jake said we should have just picked the long snapper. We were just bullshitting the first round. We were, that <laughs> yeah, was, bro. That was a warm up. That was a warm up. <laughs> that 21st pick is, oh, I don't once want that. Jake, uh, I was Jake just for shits know. and giggles. Y'all thought that was our draft. We're just making Y'all, you dumbass Bills fans dumb feel ass. cool in chat. <laughs> Yeah. That's all it was. They said we got him. <laughs> yeah, we were being cordial. Yeah, Doug. We were just trying to be nice, be yeah. you know, be respectful in somebody else's draft. house. Respectable guests, yeah, right? Off. Well, you guys we're are real quarterback right? first round. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, all I'm saying is if we get an A <laughs> for drafting a quarterback in the first round, I'm sorry. It's You're fixed. talking about okay, you can trash uh Joel Clatt. You can trash uh, that guy that I retweeted yesterday, whoever you want. But how are you going to trash the computer? If it gives us an A for drafting a quarterback in the first round, how are you going to argue with that? I guess you can't. I'm just waiting to get the right information. Hey, Pete, hey remember I said uh, Pete retweeted somebody that drafted seven quarterbacks and it gave him an A-. minus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, algorithm broken. <laughs> he figured it out. That must have been that Google Gemini algorithm. There goes crypto vouching for Pete again. Oh, mm-hmm. oh shit. That's all I heard. I caught you up there, Lewis, and saying I agree with all of you. I clipped you, crew, Lewis. That, yeah, I was trying to make my point. That that shit is sounding. You said I agree with all of you. Yeah, oh, you, you came back pedal now. My algorithm, it'll give you all <laughs> tools. 
Does Tua got any more brothers we could choose from? He has yeah, a sister, sister you could probably choose from. Oh, she, oh, he does. Oh, okay. How's she looking? Uh, I'll show you. Give me a second. The internet's gonna start going going all fucky because Tua's gonna. There you go. That's Tuana. Her name is Tuana. What else is she? Uh, never mind. You gotta put that. On, you gotta put that on full <laughs> screen, man. You gotta, you gotta put me solo for a second. I, I so heard, I heard she has a cannon her. for an arm, though. That's what I heard. Oh, she does. What did you say? She got a third arm? <laughs> oh, shit. And she whips She whips defensive linemen with that hair. Sean, Sean I'm so, I'm really sorry about this, Sean. You know what I'm saying? We don't know how to act when we go other places. I'm sorry. No, you can. Th- th- we call this a ruthless <laughs> show for a reason. You can, be, you can be as savage as you want. Okay, then. We were being kind of no, you could, you could, reserved. Uh, now you can, as long as as long as you're not sending sending bomb threats to anyone, you can do whatever you want. Oh, well, I ain't doing that. No, we didn't bring <laughs> him with us. Hey, you oh, know how shit. we you know how we get down on, uh, at the game. Teller goes, we didn't bring oh, him with us. <laughs> Pro Football Network. Okay, I don't even know who that is. Yeah, you know I've been that? I've been I've been trying to ask EM for a whole year now. Every time I see him, I put in the chat, EM, you're from Texas. Do you like uh, Whataburger or Kane's better? He never answers. So. I'm trying to get that info. If I knew who that was, I'd relay that message for you, Sean. But I don't know who that is. Actually, I I used to live in Texas for a year. Whataburger is pretty good. I had both, but when when my friends explained, like, dude, Whataburger is like the best shit you'll ever taste in your life, and I was yeah, it's pretty good. And but I I was like, I was so high. I'm like, oh man, like you said, this is gonna be the best thing ever, and it kind of just. Listen, I've had Whataburger. We got Whataburgers in like Jacksonville area. There's one in Ocala too. Dang shit. Canes, mm-hmm. Dang shit. Dang shit. Culver's Culver's better Canes than both them them joints. Well, yeah, I, we I don't even Culver's like Culver's all that much. I love okay. cheese, I love them cheese curds. That's the only thing I get. From I don't like cheese curds. It's fucking curded cheese. That sounds disgusting. <laughs> oh man, that shit is awesome, bro. I'll never eat them. My son <laughs> likes them, but I ain't eating them. Yeah, yeah, okay, hold on. I'm about the, you don't know how to here we go now. We got the right one, and there's already a trade for the Miami Dolphins. So hell, about fucking time. Who wants to trade? What? Let's get a crack in. We got About time. San Francisco Two wants to give you guys Vittles. pick 31. And uh, we'll pull it up so we can yeah. see. They want to give you pick 31 and next year's second, which for the purposes of this, I would say no because it's nah. not for this draft. But you nah. can counter yeah, that's not it. No, that's not counter it's it. not. Uh, or just what pick are the they next- picking? They're, they're the second to last pick of the draft, right? Yeah, you got another officer pick in the first round. Yeah. Then, tell- then Philly, Philly wants to give you twenty-two and then a second. So those are your two offers. You can counter both of them. So if you want, we can twenty-two and a second. Hold on, what does Philly 22. want? Twenty-two. Let me see. And a second. And in this year's second. Yeah, but no, then you got to give them for our twenty-one. Yeah. Are you yeah. kidding me? Yeah, I do. They're, that. they're they're coming up one pick and a next year's second. I would definitely yeah. take that to go down one. So let's do that. Yeah, we're but going down your, one. They're taking your 158 this year too. Yeah, I'm not oh, doing they're taking that. my 158 this year. No, yeah, I'm not, and, no, I'm not. And you're not getting that. the. You're no, not getting not the second that. till next year. Yeah, I'm not doing okay, that. Okay, no. yeah, no way. Right, so no we're way. rejecting that one, and then you can you can counter this one. So you you could change the 2025 second to a 2024 third, maybe. Third. Wait, yeah, wait. that's. Let's try that. Let's see what they got in the third. Okay. Yeah, let's get some thirds. What's that? 94. Or Go for their 124. All right, let's see what they say. No, 94, not 124. They're going to say no on the 124 or the, the 94. Oh, they, they accepted took it. it. Wow, look at that. Good good move. All right, now, they, Buffalo, they, Buffalo they the Lions want to give us. They yeah, accepted the 94? Yeah, yep. we got a third-round pick now, boys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And we only had to drop no, one They accepted the 124 the first, right. in the third. Lou. Ooh, the Giants want to give us 47 and 70 for 28. Ooh. Reject it. So you'll get two second rounders for your first rounder. Make sure and the you Chiefs want to give us 32 and 95 for 28 and 248. Yeah, I'm going to take that one, I think. Just for fun. But not fuck the Chiefs. Rejecting those ones. Okay, let's see. 
We got Chop Robinson. These algorithms operating on inside info, man. Like, damn. Yeah, I don't know. How do you go down? Click like offense or defense or something like that. Maybe that'll help. Then you can start picking what positions or defense what positions. Oh, there we go. Now it's it's scrolling now. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty. I like how they ha have this all set up. Michael, two of Penix on the board still. Sean, don't get them started. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't like the guy. I don't want him. Yeah, I don't I really care. Say, I don't like any. He's at 28. Let's see. Pinnock seems like your Manziel type or whatever. Just not just in it for the glamour. Mm. This time, He's I on think the I should Baker Mayfield track. I think I should have traded back. Hmm. I might reach and take Sweat in the first. That that would be a reach I'm happy with though because. We have, you know, we have Ed Oliver on an on a, on a extended contract, and then everyone else is either a one year rental or we have an old uh, an old uh, D tackle that's thirty two years old on a two year deal. So that's that's the kind of guy I think I would reach on. But let me see if the Bills fans are going to answer. Who do we want to do? I'll give them a couple seconds. Jake says, need to get you boys up here in Buffalo to have some wing. Yeah, you guys got to come down to, to the Bills-Dolphins game down here if it's in the September or October. Yeah, our life will be changed, but that don't Jake mean we want to Jake says to see what an actual tailgate hospital. looks like, he, dog. He doesn't, our tailgate's he doesn't got like stripper channel, poles, means... bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> All right. We got weed down here. <laughs> yeah. We it's got legal herb and stripper down, poles, bro. I mean, and right, like the weather boat. for for the good time. And we can actually make it to our stadium. Okay, like, now I tailgate shirtless, bro. The Patriots want to give you 34 and 68. Nah, we don't trade with the Patriots. They could suck it. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, hold on. They said 34 and 68. That's exactly kind of what we mean. Go back then. What was it? Right, we I need multiple picks in the nah, same well, year. Fuck them. Who else we got? Then Pittsburgh wants to give you a 51 and 119 and next year's second for 31. I kind of like that. Let's let's get rid of uh, the next year. That was a we'll perfect get, trade scenario. 58 and 60 something. We'll That's try to get one round picks to the next year's second. Yeah, see if they take that proposal. Okay. Now let's confirm it. Uh, That's we're bad. Doing, you, you, we're, we're doing too many trades now. Nah, hell no, nah, dog. We got all kinds no, we got of shit picks. now. Look, we're That's back on it. We, don't wanna, we want to make a pick now. We want to make a pick okay. now. Reject. Yeah, we're doing the Twitter drive. Oh, the puzzle. Reject. Okay, what positions? Wide receiver. What round are we in? We're at pick 51. So, round two. Mm, 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 mm. Guard. Guard. Yeah, let's look at guard. guard and center. I don't know why we're looking at guard. Dalton Risner's coming to Miami. Mark that down. It's not happening. Well, look at tackle, too. Mark it we down. Dalton and Risner will be signed after June 1st. June oh, Blake 2nd, Fisher's still there. Yeah, that's kind of a reach, Dalton. though. Yeah. Go to no, defense. We need to get young. So, we don't need no high price. We passed line. another Friday without Tua getting signed. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, then let's go quarterback, then. Dalton Leonard Taylor Rizner. the third from Miami's there. I'd like that pick. <laughs> what do you guys think? <clears throat> Shake, what give us that, a great, yeah. give us an update on the grade, Shake. What was what was that wide receiver? What's their wide receiver? He said someone say Aloysius the third? Malachi Corley. Yeah. Jalen Polk. Xavier. What's Legat. the grade? That's who I'm saying. Who do we who did we pick? Xavier Leggett. What does everyone really? Know? Xavier Leggett over the over snappers. over the D tackle. This is your. First I mean, dude, we got. Hard, you know what? Take Xavier Leggett. I don't care because we got a pick and four more picks. Yeah, I'm taking Leggett. 
Who's that? Well, whatever you throw, Xavier Leggett. I need I need a guard. <laughs> I need a guard, and he needs to be corn fed from Iowa. Well, who's the who's, who's, who's the pick? Who are we nope, nobody. I'm, we nobody didn't pick anything yet. But... Go to click on all. I want to see who's ranked. Hmm. I'm telling you, dude, that Leonard Taylor the third pick is there, bro. That's the pick. You guys Scroll know up. about him more than I would. Scroll up. That's it. No, I want to see who else is there underneath Leonard Taylor. Oh, you mean down? Oh, okay. Yeah, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> oh, Chris Braswell from Alabama, the edge rusher, still there. That That's a good pick. Oh, Cameron Kitchens is there, too. Fuck. Remember, you guys got 55 as well. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I, I like that safety, Cameron's Kitchens. Hell yeah. Yeah, you could probably get him at fifty five though. I'm t again for me, I'm taking the wide receiver. I'm taking Leggett and then at fifty five. Leggett's gonna be there at fifty five. He's ranked like eighty, bro. We got more picks now. We might get him mm. later in like the hundred and twenty fourth pick. We were gonna get. pick him up at seventy five. I don't think he's gonna be up there. He's 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 like he's like the fourth rated fucking wide receiver that's available on the board. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. If you ask me, uh, I'm, I want the safety. You're not afraid that it's going to be a run on the. On I want the edge rusher Cap from Alabama, Chris Braswell. All right, so we got one for safety, one for Braswell, one for Legat. We need a. Uh, we need a tiebreaker. Crypto color, the tiebreaker. Color and crypto. Pick your guy. Uh, I'd rather not go wide receiver so late. I need a, I need a guard. It's the second round, color. It's not that late. Yeah, this this is your first pick, too. Wide receivers usually drop off pretty drastically from first to second, man. Not in this unless, you're, unless you find that diamond like the Tyreek Hill type, you know what I mean? Or, you know, these guys that came out of nowhere. I'm just saying we could pick a wide receiver in any round this year. What's the consensus, gents? I don't know. Where's he from? Is he from Iowa or is he corn-fed? <laughs> no wide receivers from Iowa. You got Kansas State, Cooper Beebe. Uh we got we got one from Kentucky that's grass fed. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work. Are there any wide receivers from Ohio <laughs> State left? Oh, I'm sure way down the line. <laughs> that's who you want. Nope. Ain't none. Ohio State. You know, they ain't picking some two hundred ranked. Yeah, so that's athlete. wide receiver you, bro. Fifty one. <laughs> Ali ain't wrong about that, man. That shit's wide receiver you, bro. What, what is that guy against uh, measurables? <laughs> wise, how tall is he? Uh, how tall is who? Leggett. Leggett. I, be uh, I believe he's, he's six foot three. Body. Yeah, that, that's. What oh yeah. yeah, nice and tall. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If it's six three, that's a good size. I want yeah, I like Leggett. I'm on my. He's pretty good. All right, so we're going. Oh, here Leggett. we go. 60 40 Bills to Dolphins. Yeah, at least it's coming from a Bills fan. It's much better than our Dolphin fans saying the same nonsense. All right, so 60 40. 40 Bills fans. No, not <laughs> even close. Uh, I guess we'll look at him. All we'll, right, well, we'll get him. Yeah, for me, it's yeah. Leggett. I'm taking Leggett there. No more trades. So no, no. So we got our wide receiver for the future. If we get a nah, receiver, no. we need to think about. Nah, we need this receiver. pick. We need this pick. All right. What do we want? At fifty-five. Now, to to Cap's point, if the kid from Alabama or Cam Kitchens is still on the board, I'm taking either one of them. You we got all three of them. Replacing Poyer. All we gotta of start them are thinking there. About his Leonard replacement. Taylor, Chris Broswell, Cam Kitchens, all are there. I'm taking Kitchens. Oh, for Four me, years on a one-year deal. For, for me, I'm we need a safety Kitchens as well. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Broswell. I'm yeah, taking we got to get a safety because he's. We got one year. All right, deal, Kitchens, guys. it is. That's three. Kitchens. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm taking. All right, Cam. Kitchens. We fine. We need the safety. The Bills yeah. get a trade from the fucking Texans. Mm. Yeah, well, nah. and the Jets. You can't trade with the Jets. Fuck no. And if it's a good, if it's fake, DJ's well, drive wow. for Josh Allen is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 86, 123, and let's let's just see. 
Try to get 127 from him. Oh, huh, okay. That's my last trade. I'm not trading again. Mm. Okay. Do, do, do. Yeah. Solomon. Trade back. Can, get later. Can we trade back maybe three slots and get another pick in the fourth? <laughs> Get, get Detroit picks. I'm going Johnny Mother F and Wilson. Mm. Big body. All right, Miami Dolphins are up. What what pick is this? What one nineteen. This is okay, third so round. We're in the, so third we're round still. We're not. Uh, I think it's. Fourth, fourth, round? fourth, fourth early round. fourth, yeah. yeah, something like that. Early fourth. Right. Where, are we, where are we, we going? How many total fourths do we have? This is our only fourth round pick. Let me check. You got one twenty four, and that's it. So you got two. Just two. Okay, so we got one more, two picks. Yeah, I think I, I think I only that's put cool. this in that's four cool. rounds. This one. Yeah, two. Yeah. Okay. No, so we, we So we got our safety, we got our linemen, we got our tackles on both sides of the ball. Already. Let's see. You got Leggett and Kitchens. That's it. Yep. Okay. Mm. Let's look at a uh, interior line tackles. Yeah. Let's see. It's defensive tackles. This is guard. Just go to go to all again. It's an easier way to look at it. I thought we there had but Wayne Carter from Duke. What them tackles looking like from Auburn and then Georgia? Any any of them left? They got good defense. Is that kid Bebe still there? No, he's gone. No. Auburn, Auburn, and Duke has some very good defensive tackles. Or the, not Duke, uh, Auburn and um, it's getting too low now. Yeah, it's too low. We could look at Mason Smith from Georgia. LSU, defensive tackle. Dominic Pooney, guard from Kansas. Dwayne Carter, tackle I would like from Duke. Look at look at linebacker from what's the uh, measurables on Penn Dwayne State. Carter? Dwayne Click Carter. on that little clipboard next to his name, should tell you 62303. Okay, Raz score 7.9. Seven. I don't tell how long about, his arms are. No, he's a vertical Six mover with blistering one tackle. step burst. So he's he's also. probably he probably is uh rated as a guard, anyhow. Dwayne Carter. So yeah, that might be the guy to grab right there, Elite guys. Power profile, yeah. Go yeah who's the best running right back available? Let's get, let's get that guy. Oh yeah, check running backs. Too. Well, that's too early for a running back. Let's get this guy. No, the fourth round. That's pretty sweet spot. Dwayne Carter. I mean, I don't know. Check running backs real quick because crypto's interested. That's what's left. Yeah, I ain't into any of that. Wait a minute, Ray Davis. On. That dude's gonna be hold a on. I'm pretty Kentucky, sure Ray USC Davis is back. a scat back. Click on Ray South Davis. Dakota. I want to see his measurables. Uh, Bailey like one, from TCU. The that's German. the guy. I can't even got no measurables on there yet. Right. <laughs> they didn't even measure his right. match yet. That's no, 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 no. No, we need Bailey. Bailey, Bailey check, check, check Bailey. He may be a five value. seven two oh two two oh two five seven. Crypto, he'll be there later in the rounds. We picked He's up extra to the mid ground. round picks, though. We got extra picks, Crypto. He'll that's be our, there. That that's guy, our Tony Page. We got to go a little bit more value. I think the tackle that we can play at guard. 
These are the tackles left. Was he guard or was he, he tackle? Guard. That was a D tackle you guys were looking at. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck mm. it. Then never mind. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Guard. Did we get Hunt's replacement? This is guard. Daw and Risner's coming in to replace Robert Hunt. I say get Leighton Robinson from Texas no, he'll, A&M. He'll, he'll be signing with the Either Vikings. him or Brandon Coleman, one of those two guards. It's up to y'all. Bro, it'd be funny if we replaced Hunt with a guy named Hines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> 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 Oh. Yeah, we went and got the higher that name brand. Right. <laughs> brand up. Coleman? Yeah, I don't think we care anymore now, dog. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Mm. Mm. All right, well, we got a couple picks left each. We'll wrap it up. Mm. What's that grade looking like, Shake? Uh, so far, not bad. Better than the last one, I can tell you that. All right, you guys are back on the clock. Joe Milton. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. He might be still available at that point. He is. Yep, that's it. Send that in. Yeah, that yeah. Is cool. <laughs> we, we can grab him then at the same spot. <laughs> it's already in. Same spot. He's a value. Maybe they're trying like to tell us something. To happen. <laughs> maybe they maybe they trying to tell us something here. It's destiny. All right, boys. I gotta run. Hey, Cab, right, appreciate you coming on, man. I'll see you, fellas. Be safe, man. Drive safe. Mm. Back on again. And now that Cap's gone, we might get a better grade. <laughs> right. <laughs> our next three picks are going to be, you know, punter. You yeah, know, you got to bring our grade up. Mm. Well, that was the four rounds with the. The better trades. I should have did that one the from trades. the beginning. Yeah. You guys got Leggett, Kitchens, Coleman, and Joe Milton with your four pick four rounds. Oh yeah. Now we could uh get rid of the guy with the bald cat. Kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the ball. He's not hey, gonna be well, happy about this draft. Real quick, if you guys haven't yet. You better get your asses over to the fence tailgate and subscribe. They're putting out videos every damn day. They go they go for eight hours. They go for three hours. But everything they do is is, is awesome. It's and we don't hate Buffalo fans. No, nope, they let everybody on. They say whatever. They get to say whatever they feel we on the crap their all over them. But we don't gatekeep them. And by the yep. way, uh, this uh, tonight at three o'clock in the morning, me and Crypto are doing insomnia. We're going live tonight. Three o'clock in the morning. Full live. live. Well, not well. You know, we're gonna Pre premiere, premiere, premiere live. Right. Premiere live. Yeah, please, please go, <laughs> please like go subscribe <laughs> and show them some love. They've been these guys have been great to me. So they're good friends of mine. And uh, even though they're Dolphin fans, they're the real deal. So they're over six K now. So let's keep them growing. And again, they do everything over there: film breakdowns, panel shows, everything. So go show them some love, like they show me love. And, and uh, tell we'll the Jets fans that we all can pick on Jets fans. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, we're, uh, what, what's that saying where enemies make uh, have, a, have a worse enemy and they <laughs> they become friends over it? But uh, yeah, fuck the Jets for sure, and but, the Patriots, and the Patriots. But yeah, you guys, you guys for sure. If you can, uh, I, I was supposed to go to Miami last year, but it fell through. But Hopefully to go there next year, and I'll get to show me around. And then if you guys can come to Buffalo, if it's early in the year, you won't be disappointed. It's awesome. So, 
Yeah, it was between them and the Yeah, New I'll England get around there if I ever there. visit Niagara Falls. <laughs> the next yeah. one I'll be going to. It's been a minute since, since I went been to there. New England. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't been to New England in a long time. It's on my bucket list. I only been to uh, Boston once. I think I went three times. I went to Fenway a couple times in like 04, 05 maybe when I was young. I took the uh I took the ferry across Boston Harbor. Oh yeah? Yeah. And uh oh. I, I and no lie. No lie at all. There was a dolphin in the harbor following our boat. It just knew, man. I appreciate you too, Jake. <clears throat> yeah, you guys are awesome. Great show, fellas. You Fins fans yep, are good. Appreciate people. it, Sean. Yeah, they're the, hey, anytime, guys. And you know, you guys, you guys always have me on your show and always have me in your comments. So you guys never need to invite. If I'm ever on yep. Nickel City Mafia or my channel, I'll pop the I'll drop the link down. You guys can come on anytime. So we'll wrap it mm -hmm. up here. Head over to their channel, subscribe, like the video, and again, thank you guys for coming in. Oh, thank no you. For having me. It's a pleasure, man. Of course. Go Bills. Fins up. Fins, Fins up, up, everyone. <laughs>